Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Danae, and I'm here with a message for you. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well today. It's January 3rd. Let's just say today is Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Oh, you must think I'm such a tart that I never know the day. <laughs> oh, but trust me, I'm present. Oh, I'm present. And my ears just started ringing or feeling like, what's that sensation when you, um, like when you're going to a high altitude? That's what's happening in my ears right now, particularly my right, but kind of like both. Interesting. So let's just get right to it. Hope you're doing well. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, I really do. And I hope your week is off to a good start or we're at the midway point hump day. So you're about halfway through the stretch. If you are in, indeed anxious for the end of the week or for the weekend, it's just around the corner. So hang in there. All right, so let's see where we at today. Interesting. The Four of Cups. Wow, my ears are like weird. Mm. Like I'm in an airplane. That's what it feels like. Like I'm in an airplane. And you know when you start your the descent and, and they yeah, popping. That's what it is. And, this, and they start to pop. That's how it feels right now. Now, coincidentally, I live in an area not far, like I, I'm, I live in an area that's kind of in the line of where um, most of the planes travel, as you can probably hear one right now. It's not so close that, you know, it's super disruptive to everyday life, but you kind of can't help but notice it, you know, to some degree when you hear one particularly, so. That's an interesting point of, especially at this point in time when I'm saying my ears are popping, that one would come through. So I don't know, maybe you're getting ready to travel. Maybe you are resistant to traveling, maybe resistant to moving on, or I just feel, I hear like haven't quite accepted or someone hasn't quite accepted their fate or accepted reality. Oh, interesting. Maybe there has been, with the Four of Cups, there's been... Mm, um, someone's travel plans have been rejected, but I'm going to tell you how I'm hearing it, even though I'm saying, I'm talking about planes and my ears popping this and that. It's like somebody's astral projection has been rejected or they've been grounded from being able to either project energy emotionally or from literally mystically, however that gets to be being able, and here's another plane, being able to travel the astral plane. Ah, so somebody has been rejected from the astral plane. Ooh, wow. They're no longer admitted to travel freely in that celestial space. They've been grounded. Oh, what? Never have I gotten that from the Four of Cups. I usually don't, I'm, I, f I feel called to take it out, but I usually don't for such a low, um, let's see. Let's see what's before and after this right here. Can I get a before? Mm, and that's like the authorities grounding somebody, like just when they thought they was about to take off. <laughs> This is like air traffic. Oh, let me bring this down because last time it got cut off a little bit. This is like air traffic control, but maybe of a celestial order. And it's like, nope, come on down. 
revoke revoke somebody's passport got revoked this might be very literal i'm hearing it spiritual it literally i mean literally it actually could be either one i'm not going to take this emma how many is this three that's a lot but look yeah somebody's something's been brought to an end and look they only look like <laughs> Though that look like air traffic control with the two uh, batons, like <laughs> directed traffic. And there's somebody trying to come in for a landing meeting, all types of obstacles. And, mm -mm, something has, somebody's, um, yeah, like definitely passport, passport has been revoked. This is the astral world. Here is... Um, I, I'm hearing it as like the, the, what is that called? Like, a first class is, is given first class travel with the King of Cups, what someone is accustomed to or having the liberty to, to do. Like, um, this is like frequent flyer miles. Oh my God. This is so interesting that somebody has been able to just at a moment's notice or thought, just get up and go or project energy or, um, let's see, in a practical sense, what would this look like? It would look like having a great arsenal of um, tactics at, this, at, at their disposal. Like to be able to just, like say somebody, okay, in a practical sense, somebody that has law enforcement in their back pocket that has um, like some high level officials perhaps that they could pay off or just has a lot, this is what, the, that has a lot of, um, what's the word that I want? Uh, influence, but also, yeah, cause look at that. It's like this energy is coming from here. Influence, but also, um, uh, not connections. What's the other word? I think it's also a C, but what is it? Influence and... Damn, I can't think of the word right now. Give me one second because it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's not connections. It's... Access. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That was like a, gave me a headache. <laughs> exactly. High level access. That's what someone has or has had. And for, for whatever reason, it's been revoked. But I'm still just looking for one more card and then we could take whatever we get. Let me just get one more. And it's been revoked by way of those connections because the hermit card looked like it was kind of putting a stop to that power projection with the eight of eight of wands, like what someone is used to being able to just expel at a at make a phone call and it's done, you know, send a send a message or send a um, even a third party message per se. Like maybe they don't even necessarily have to be the one to carry the order. They just give the order and things are set into motion. But that hermit card, something about that hermit card is like some unsuspecting obstacle or like wrench in the plans, you know, that's the wrench in what is typical arose, whether it be a person, a place. It really is given, it's given more energy than anything because sometimes the hermit card can give like ancestors. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot about that part that we were talking about because I was getting way deep into the practical aspect, which is definitely relevant too. But if we're talking about the more spiritual aspect, it's like the ancestors are no longer in support of this person operating in that gift. They like they don't have the privilege to operate in the gift of astral projection anymore that that would be through the ancestral realm to some degree, right? Or at least passing through it, you would at least need that guidance or that admittance, like literally the, you know, the gate agents to allow you to do so with safe passage, right? 
and it's like that hermit card was like the, oh, let me see, is it still on top? The hermit card is like the agent. No, oh, shoot, that ain't that, but, <laughs> oh, I must have put it back, back, back. But the hermit card is like the agent, um, the ancestors that are like, nope, you're not, you, you're not, you don't have access to come through here anymore. There's something more, more than likely on account of mismanaging the, um, like somebody mismanaging their privileges or abusing their privileges. In this case, abusing their power, having a certain level of clearance. Ooh, ooh, government clearance. Mm, there's that. But having a certain level of clearance and a, and and not using it within the proper jurisdiction or just properly in general with good intention and it being revoked. And it, sound, it seems like this person found that out the hard way, having been grounded, yeah, like literally sit your ass down here with the four of pentacles. Like, mm-mm. No, you can't you can't go anywhere, but you what you can do is take this ace of cups. That's about the best we can do for you. Like <laughs> like how on the planes these days, especially if you fly economy class, that's what it is. Like somebody got demoted from from um from business or from you know from first class to economy and is it's a it's a great fall from grace from what they're used to. And you know all they give you is some soda and maybe some pretzels and peanuts if you're lucky. If you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. In this case, dude only got a damn a cup. You know, I don't see no snacks. <laughs> or maybe so. Maybe that's the flight attendant with the Queen of Pentacles with the peanuts. <laughs> God, this is funny to me. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So what's the Queen of Pentacles about? Hmm. Interesting. Low key, it literally is giving me flight attendant. You know how the flight attendants be having their own different little half half seat, you know, that they sit in for takeoff and for um, for landings. And she got the peanuts. She got the snacks. You know, it's like. Mm, interesting. <laughs> and you know for what for the duration of your travel, you know, like what's coming to mind now is and this one he almost looks like a pilot. Like this is very interesting to me. Somebody got then just get grounded. They got kicked off that flight. And they perhaps can't even fly this airline no more. This is like spirit, <laughs> ghetto ass spirit, where you get no shade to spirit because I've flown spirit many times and I've landed safely and so forth. But if you know, you know. And for the for the intents and purposes of the message, being a spiritual one, this is Spirit Airlines, okay? And the flight attendants don't play. You know, like you've seen those videos where people think they're going to just boss up and say anything to the flight attendants and they get they got to sit that ass right on down or get kicked off expeditiously. That's the energy here. OK, so literally somebody tried to flex their muscle, you know, like I paid my money here, you know, because I'm first class before, and also get into it. A lot of times the passengers that get booted, it's on account of them overindulging in alcohol or being intoxicated or belligerent in some type of way. So that's the energy here. Somebody got denied access, whether this be on the spiritual plane or on a physical one, and they got very belligerent. You see how his hands is crossed and he's like refusing. Didn't I say refusing to accept their reality or something like that? I did refusing to accept the circumstances as they are, particularly as they created them to be most likely, that they kind of, you know, made their own bed for whatever, you know, in, in some way, shape, or form. And the Queen of Pentacles is who has the final say as to whether or not, you know, all the, all the flight attendants need to do is just make a call to security gates. Here's the security, the chariot car. 
And it's, that's it. There's no more questions. They don't ask. They don't care. You can sort that out when you get off the plane. But until then, you will have to remove yourself and your carry-on and be escorted off and deal, you know, and be tended to on the other side. And usually, <clears throat> you're not able to reboard, particularly not with that airline. Mm. So somebody, and get into the fact that we have a feminine here. So yeah, somebody tried to assert their masculine energy over feminine power and almost take it for granted or trump it like, you know, like I, like they don't matter. Like I said, how sometimes people try to treat uh, flight attendants like masculine and feminine, really, but they try to treat that position with very little respect. Like I pay my money so you can't kick me off. But as I said, they hold the power. They hold the key literally to your aviation, your travel. So this is someone that really overestimated and inflated their own power and authority, abused it, mismanaged it, and underestimated the power of um, the gateway authority or the or or whatever uh, to, to some level of deference, you know, that someone held the key for. In this case travel, literally getting from one place to another in a practical sense. In the spiritual sense, is given that somebody was abusing their own gifts and um, at the expense of others, perhaps that they deemed were less valuable or not as valuable, or um, that they just saw that they wanted to monopolize or just manipulate or just overpower, whatever the motive may have been, it really doesn't matter. The point is it wasn't justified, hence why we're talking about overuse or abuse or mismanagement of power and authority. And they, they underestimated the force that they were reckoned with, with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is like in a very mystical aspect, someone trying to project or astral project into someone else's energy to siphon their vitality for self and being met with this, this person's um, security system, i.e. that hermit card, whether it be their ancestors or their guys or way showers or angelic forces or just um, underestimating this and this the intended, intended target's ability to secure their airspace, more or less, you know, their energetic field to some degree and being kicked right up on out of it. Like, nope, boop, <laughs> access denied. <laughs> yep, bam, access denied. This is powerhouse energy right here. Like I said, angelic forces, source, you know, and like up under the chariot, this is doubling down on the security, um, like the security, uh, what do you call it? The security, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but this is definitely air traffic control and anything else. It, whatever you call the aviation police, because I think it's even beyond air traffic control or something, because this is like spirit and truth, so like air and land. So it's not just them controlling the traffic and the, through the airways. It's also um, governing what goes on on the ground. What is that? Not TSA, because TSA is like, I don't think it would be TSA, but y'all know, maybe it is, maybe TSA. They're like the security force, more or less, um, that decide who gets through. Look, like that almost looks like the metal detectors and they're standing there, him with the wand. Oh my God, this is so interesting. <laughs> so funny. Him with the wand, standing there waiting to scan whoever's trying to come through, checking all the bags, you know. Everybody got their shoes off. Look, with the temperance card here, the the that you be damn near naked by the time you go through the, the security check, right? <laughs> this is funny. And it, that's doubling down on what I said. It's like, it's, this is like somebody that tries to travel and they get to the gate 
and realize that either their license is suspended or expired, or like I said, their passport has been revoked, um, that they're on the no flight list. Ooh, that's what it is. Somebody's on the no no flight list. If that if, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's something like that. Damn. And I'm really getting that it's more spiritual than physical, but of course we know as above, so below, as within, so without. So it could be somebody going through this in a spiritual form and it being very materially manifested in the sense where maybe there's some type of investigation that would have, or some type of legal um, contention that where where they would, would, um, what do you call it, where they would uh, revoke your passport and you you can't make, so maybe somebody was trying to get away, trying to move, move around. And, ooh, yeah, that's what this is giving. So it's like somebody can't move around like they had access to in the spirit, and now they can't do it naturally either. Passport's been revoked, so they can't move around if they try. But they may even, like I said, be even more grounded than that because he's almost like tied to a tree here, whereas they can't even leave their state or their city or some more grounded, confined, you know, parameters. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, there it is. They, there may be some very little mobility here, but not much. And and also, I'm getting also not a lot of resources to move about, even if they wanted to, with the Knight of Pentacles. Like something has been delayed a great deal. Or what their intended plan of travel or action was has been delayed, almost stopped to a halt with the Knight of Pentacles, because this horse is damn near stationary. Um, a great deal. And it's like, damn, it's like all agencies are on alert. That's what I'm getting. It's like you got, even if he were to get to the airport, TSA is going to stop you or the gate agent or whatever is going to stop you. Even if he was to make it on the plane, it's like, they, nope, as soon as you thought you was about to take off, the flight attendants are like, sir, would you come with me, please? <laughs> it's like you thought you got away in the spirit, but it's like, mm, no, here's the exposure and here's the, the justice in spirit, which is unlike is a cut above the, the physical justice in the land because it don't miss nothing when you got the temperance card here. Justice in the court of man, you might get lucky, you might catch a deal, you know, or you, you, you could also not be so lucky. It could go either way, but one thing's for sure is that in a spiritual court, it's always going to be fair and it's going to be balanced. Hmm. And sometimes that justice is served slowly, but it, it's always served. Let's see. What's this Knight of Pentacles trying to offer to? Oh, that's way too many. I'm not gonna take all these. Oh, God, no. Oh, and look, but there's a justice card. And what I say, sometimes it can get a little hazy, a little foggy in the justice system, but the universe don't miss. The universe don't miss. And when the world card is here, that means justice is served. It's not a matter of, it, is it going to be? It is. And everything that's designed to come to a close must because there's time for a new cycle. That's, that's piggybacking off of this energy here with the star and the pentacle. Damn, what is that about? The star, like that's that's talking about the gift aspect, the more mystical aspect that I was talking about. Someone that was targeting supreme beings to what's the right word? Not just monopolize, to possess, I guess.
Yeah, because the not the Ace of Pentacles is given possession with the hand holding the coin, like to be the sole propri proprietor of certain beings and their energetic force. To literally be lord over all but A-W-E, not everybody, because every energy clearly wasn't of interest here, but lord over those that have certain astounding qualities, you know, certain celestial resources or, or um, life forces. People that are highly creative, highly intelligent, um, mystically gifted, all of that. Some people that have clairs, you know, to put it even more plainly, if we're talking more on the spiritual and mystical side, but if we're talking on the practical end and everything in between, people that have status, people that have money, people that have um, the word that I keep trying to miss. What is this word again? That have influence and uh, power, authority, but also, and connections, but also access, access, access. That's what I keep, keep missing that word, access. That's all this energy right here, like elite. But look, in comparison to what he's able and willing to offer with the Knight of Pentacles, not much in exchange for all of that high vibrational energy. And there lies the injustice and the mismatch as to why his privileges have been revoked. Because someone that's that possessive or dare I say obsessive about energies in that frequency with only this much that they're even willing to give and, and barely that much with the four of cups. That means that they're, this is like, with the Knight of Pentacles, that means that they would even hold back the Knight of Pentacles until it was absolutely dire, direly necessary to do so. Like they rather not give anything at all. But they, but, but they would be so obliged to take everything that they could put their hands, mind, spirit, body onto, literally. Any, any and everything that they could touch, they would absorb and give very little in return. That's why the spirit is stopping them at the gate. Like, mm -mm, you're done here. Broken spiritual law is what's happening here. Dang, can I just get like, oh, it came back out, look. Okay, I'm keeping that. Spiritual law, and look, poor in spirit, not having much to offer, maybe what was, was um, possessed personally at some point in time is no more. Or, or was just very depreciated in value, maybe even by himself. Because well, sometimes with the Four of Cups, it gives me someone that's really just denying themselves. You know, when the Spirit is calling you or offering you something, that's you rejecting yourself and your supreme self at that. So this is someone that didn't see much value in who he was organically enough to rely on that purely he rather absorb other other entities or energies with the three of cups overindulge as a matter of fact with the three of cups and as i said very um intentionally targeted not just any old body very intentional and i would say again as as i've said before unsuspecting perhaps vulnerable even energies like I think I said this in yesterday's reading, like people just focusing on their own vitality, on their own healing, minding their business, drinking their water, 
not doing anything to anyone, th that was the target. To do what? Offset their their poverty and their <clears throat> poor spirit in exchange for way more than what they should be bargaining for. A much higher value than what they're willing to project. You know, they're not willing to invest that energy in themselves to then attract it. It's like someone going to take it from someone else. So again, this could be practical in the sense of literally identifying people of wealth and status and celebrity and influence and power and, and trying to align themselves now I'm saying themselves, particularly with the Five of Pentacles, because it, it doesn't have to be one masculine, of course. It could be masculine, feminine, and and both, <laughs> you know. But aligning themselves with the, you know, with the elite or those that have high status and access and all that good stuff to absorb the benefits of that lifestyle. It's scamming. That's what it is, practically speaking. It's, it's somebody who's well-intentioned to, to scam because they're willing to take more than what they're able to. They're, they're obliged to take more than what they're willing or able to offer. That's the intention, as a matter of fact. And then, of course, again, on the spiritual mystical aspect, is someone that latches on to people that have gifts like say a masculine, right, finds women that are highly gifted, talented, have a great future ahead of them or a, shoot, are, are, are celebrity status in their own right or just, or just energetically like high vibrational, you know, like as I've said, celestial celebrities, people that are very healed or that are healing, that have a great healing power just being around them kind of makes you feel better type of energy. Those type of people, instead of absorbing that frequency fairly, you know, like being, um, you know, just justifiably inspired or even influenced in some way by proximity or by association, Oh, that's not enough. They just, they got to, they have to some, somehow absorb all of that energy and then leave them depleted. That's, that's why the reason for the grounding and the spiritual, yeah, exactly. That's the reason for the spiritual grounding here because it, it, an overexertion of power is what the King of Wands is representing as I'm saying all that. Lustful in their passions and ambitions. And, you know, I know that for some, it's probably interesting. Here's the world card again, that a lot of times I'll read an upright card with a lower vibration, but you have to take into account that I don't get a lot of reversals. That's just not how I shuffle. So I read the vibration of the card as to how it makes me feel, the surrounding cards and the nature of the story that I'm expressing is no way that I'm speaking about a high vibrational king of wands when I just said all that about somebody's low vibrational ambitions, you know? So if there was any confusion about that, let me make that clear. That in, historically, I don't get a lot of reversals. When I do, it's something I really pay attention to. But my particular reading style is based on the vibration of what I'm feeling and the storyline that I'm speaking to. And in this instance, is given that someone had a lot of power and prestige and was very overconfident about how they wielded it. You know, they didn't do it with self self control and protective of the energies that they aligned themselves with quite the quite the contrary, as a matter of fact. And the world card as is looking back on that is that is saying that that's done that cycle has been closed this is the energy that's exposing it this is celestial justice being ordered and this is the world card bringing all that judgment to a close it's like 
No, this so this is like him trying to hand in his hand his passport in at the gate, and the plane's already taken off anyway. If you even got allowed to the gate in the first place, that's this energy here. Like literally, too late. You missed your flight. Damn. Well, Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands. You missed your flight, and so now. This is like destiny moving on. He's all the way over here, mind you, looking in some direction for God knows what <laughs> or why. Meanwhile, the whole world is moving forward. And <clears throat> universal order never skipped a beat with the will of fortune here and the four of wands. It's like all those that are supposed to be in, f in favor in a space of harmony that it's like, look, like this is literally like the gate or like, you know what it's really giving me? Sometimes when you land in, say, particularly like Jamaica or Caribbean islands and stuff like that, and they put the lay on you or, or tropical islands and they, they um, welcome you with, there's like dancing in, in, uh, the, in the terminal and they put a lay on you, say it's Hawaii or... Um, give you some type of like island welcome. And a lot of times when you get off, I know, I, I know I've experienced it in Jamaica anyway, you get off not through, going, walking through a terminal, but you actually exit the plane on the outside. Well, I guess even particularly, yeah, for sure, if you were flying private, you would most likely exit off the plane onto the actual runway and then walk to a gate or be driven or whatever the case may be. So this is like upgrade status is what I'm getting here. Like somebody rolling out the red carpet wherever you travel to. So that's the disparity here of those that, perhaps those that have been um, targeted in some way, shape or form having overcome this these detriments and disturbances to now be up oh like your ticket's been upgraded oh man and here we go from the world which of course is the world but the will of fortune is the universe that's like you're not just going on a private plane you're going on a rocket you know it's like you're not just going on a on the plane a jet you're going private and you're not just going private, you're going on the rocket ship. You know, it's like continuous upgrade. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Wow. And like I said, when you landed in a foreign country or foreign, you know, foreign island, somewhere tropical, definitely the energy is upbeat. You know, it's like, man, I just hear like life is a vacation. What? That is the karma, that is the dharma of those that have evolved a certain way, that have been upgraded, you know, like that have had their frequent flyer miles <laughs> upgraded to some degree. That this is this is the new access here. Wow. I was not ready for that. That's amazing. What do they even call that? See, I don't even fly enough yet to even say it, but what is, what do they call it? When you're um well, I just hear the hot the high mile club, but of course we know it's not I'm not I mean it is to a two people in the four of wands, so maybe there's that too. But you know what I don't mean it in a salacious way. I mean it in a very celestial way, as a matter of fact, that you are now a part of the Mile High Club. Infinite access. Woo! Come on, somebody. Where some are being revoked, demoted, and grounded all together and banned from, from traveling at all. Others are being upgraded to more supreme status and like almost like free range travel, literally like having your own private airline, your own private jet where outside of, of course, 
the safety, I mean, well, inside, of course, the safety and regulations of TSA or air traffic control that says when it's safe to fly and all, you know, that, that, that um, organizes that transportation, not organizes, but um, regulates that transportation, for the most part, it's like literally you are free to move about the planet, maybe perhaps the galaxy, maybe somebody about to be flying out into outer space. <laughs> And if not, again, I'm taking it very physical, very natural, very um, practically with it being, and it's no coincidence with my ears popping, like everything always just comes together so beautifully. I'm taking it practically, but it could be just spiritual access, you know, well, just right, as if there is such a thing, but it could, it could be one and the same, that your spiritual access, which is now been elevated or exalted to some new degree has ne is now affording you a lifestyle because the pentacle is here the ace of pentacles is here the star card is here will of fortune that's windfall of luck and prosperity um the world card you know like it's all here and the queen of pentacles is is very material so i cannot side swipe that even if I wanted to, but it's definitely of a spiritual origin. You know, it's like you've upgraded in the spiritual, so therefore now it's translating in the natural. That whatever it is that you're doing or however you're expressing yourself, whatever this or this ordinance may be in the natural form, whatever destiny it is that you're answering the calling to or whatever you're following the path toward, is going to afford a great deal of resources that will put you in a position to not only, you know, move around and have a great deal of influence and impact and access. As I've said, this is heavenly celestial access, spiritual access. This is having um, a resource to, to fund and fuel your vehicle, you know, to literally fund your visions and bring them into fruition and, and expound upon them, multiply them, but also to actually afford you a lifestyle that is comfortable, that is, like I said, life is a vacation, that even the work that you're doing doesn't feel like that because it's in alignment with who you're destined and designed to be, at least by how, by how you see it, by your perspective between you and your supreme source and life force. That is awesome. So jet setting is the name of the game, literally. You may actually be fitting to move around a lot in a practical sense. Your work, your destiny may be about to take you to places you've never been before in spirit and in truth. Wow, 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 wow. And of course, in the highest vibration, as I can ascribe to the King of Pentacles in that regard, it's with the energy of proactive creativity that's uninhibited, that is direct and intentional, that is powerful, that's influential, that makes a great impression and is very inspiring, you know, very impactful. Um, creative force here beyond what the reflection was like the way it's culminating I can ascribe that energy to it now as it pertains to you the jet setter the 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 um you know the the mile high high club member here mm, mm, mm. That's amazing. Yeah, like, <laughs> now don't get kicked off the plane drinking too much. <laughs> but you can absolutely celebrate. Absolutely toast to the good life is what I hear. Toast to the good life, honey. Right now, if you ain't already, you have that permission. Let's see what's on the bottom. And community is going to grow and be be prosperous on account of 
your upgrade. It's like, you know, it's like when you get upgraded to first class, it usually makes the way for somebody else to get on economy, you know, or for somebody that maybe that was flying standby or something like that to get on because you you upgraded or were upgraded, right? And sometimes they are offering you deals to like um, take a lesser, a, a later flight or something like that. They used to do that. I don't know so much anymore because the airlines are such a mess or they were most recently such a mess that I don't know if they have the room to do that beyond overbooking the plane in the first place. But sometimes they would offer you like, if you if you take a later flight, they'll upgrade your ticket or give you a like a voucher for another flight or something like that. But it's for the purposes of other people being able to get on that may have been left out in the cold or disadvantaged or, str or grounded, stranded where they are, you know? Because there's only but so many seats on the plane. And this is like your elevation now has allowed space and room for other people to now elevate, to now get where they're trying to go, to travel to places where they may not have been able to otherwise. Your status, your, um, you know, just your you being bumped up the way that you are in, in status and in, in resources and in every way, shape, and form is literally paving the runway for someone else's takeoff. That is freaking amazing. So that everybody eats, everybody gets to celebrate their own elevation. I am so pleased by this message. <laughs> like very interesting and intriguing and empowering and encouraging for this new season, this new year that we're in. If you aren't already, you about to be very, very pleased with the trajectory of your life experience. Everything that you have worked for, everything that you felt you sacrificed or lost, every way that you submitted or surrendered your time and energy to to be rendered as <clears throat> the highest value of you, every way that you devoted yourself to your destiny and to your own path, you committed yourself to your the integrity of your own truth is now being rewarded. It's being rewarded and it's felt like a long time coming, but it's finally here. It's been a delayed flight, right? <laughs> it's been delayed. And now you're finally on that runway, ready to take off. Ooh, congratulations. Bon voyage. Oh, that's like a boat, right? <laughs> Never mind. But you guys have a safe flight. How about that? Enjoy yourself, indeed. All right. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Till next time. As always, I leave you with peace.